Mapeza, who has uh, called on the media to hype up local football so that he can return to his glory days when fans would fill uh, stadiums across uh, the country. We get more in the following report. FC Platinum coach Nome Mapeza has challenged the media to publicize the domestic top flight more in order to lure fans back to stadiums this season. In recent times, match day attendances at Premier Soccer League matches have dwindled, with Highlanders amongst the few teams that are still drawing sizable crowds. Mapeza believes more publicity will help fans become more familiar with the league and its players. I really don't know why they were not coming to watch football. Maybe there's too much football now. There's too much European football on TV. You know, but those, when we were growing up, I always give an example of when we were growing up, there wasn't much football on TV. You know, it was much about us local football. Because if you can recall around 90s, 90s, 91, 92, you could see maybe a minibus written Rambo Mercedes Banda. But these days you, you, was, you see Ronaldo and things like that. So there isn't much about us. There isn't much about there is much talk about about, about this about footballers of these days. Mapeza also applauded the work being done by ZTN Prime with a channel broadcasting more than 100 live games last season. You guys need to, to, do, to do more in terms of what is going on. You know, let's do a lot of coverage all over the country. You know, I've been talking about it. We have got ZTN, which has been doing very well in terms of football coverage, but covering maybe two matches in a week is not enough. Let's see if a program whereby, okay, they can cover those two matches, maybe in Arara, maybe in Blawayo. But then, there are guys who are also covering a game between ZPC Kariba and Wange in, 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 at Nyamunga. Then they can, um, this is my suggestion, then if you guys can come up with some highlights, maybe one of those days during the week, so that people can see, okay, this is how ZPC Kariba won against, against Wange and things like that. Because we all hear that they won, but how? So people do get excitement because they are now there's a, pro, there's, a, there's a show on TV where it's showing highlights of uh, between the Triangle and, and Manika Demons at Gibo. With ZTN Prime set to broadcast even more live matches from across the country this season, the channel is expected to continue leading the way in putting the glory back in our football. Tafadwa Tishawangana reporting for ZTN Prime. Boraledu, our football. E Boraledu, this is what we were talking about. And... Uh... There, Norman Mapeza talking about spreading the game wide. And uh, it's good that you got him. But what I really loved, yes, ZTN Prime, commendable effort, what we did last season. But we need to do much more. What, what, what are you guys working on with regards to that? So in regards to that, uh, I think we're taking heed. It's almost we had been putting plans in place uh, before we'd even spoken to Anoma Mapeza, but it's good that he highlighted that. Uh, obviously, we're trying to increase the number of games uh, that we'll be screening, hopefully doubling that uh, per match day. So maybe about four games, if all things go according to plan. Uh, that's the thing. And then, obviously, uh, we're planning to place reporters across uh, the different stadia so we can do live crossovers during uh, the game so that at least, you know, we can get a sense of what's happening and get live updates whether, you know, it's with the team in studio. So those are some of the plans that we have in place. And yeah, we we are working also on this, a similar kind of concept to the one that uh, Mapeza highlighted about a highlight package. And that's why we were trying to send out as many of our reporters across the country so that we can harvest that footage and be able to give it to the viewers yeah i think it's a it's a good uh, follow-up to the start that you guys had <laughs> last season so david uh, during your heyday uh mapeza talks about well let, let's let's just go back i think to his era in the 90s he talks about mm, the game not being on tv but uh, the hyping up of local players was so much that you could find you know mini buses just uh, quoting him verbatim uh, written Rambo may say the Sebanda, you know, because in everything that we do, when it comes to football, who are the main actors? The players are the main actors. Yeah. Are we doing enough to hype up the main actors, so to speak? Yeah, of late, I, I think uh, we haven't been justice uh, to, to the current footballers, uh, to be honest. I think past two generations, I think Wangawa Sirwin has won a lot of coverage because Ukanya Nyotaris is our. Uh, we dwell much on European football, right? Because we have players that are playing 
our own local Zimbabwean footballers that are playing outside uh, the borders, especially those that are playing in Europe. Marshall Munetsi, you talk of Tino Kadewere, you talk of Marvelous Nakamba. Those are the guys that have been talked much, you know, but our own local guys, like right now, there's a lot of transfer that is doing, going around. But you find, Guti, it will be maybe a smaller column like this, where you find, Guti, Pagangonyor, Wakunzi, Sila, Jones, Caps United. But there's not much mm. in terms of that. And there's not much that we can talk of Sila to the local kids. How are they going to know who is Adrian Sila? Yeah, I, I, I understand what you yeah. say. Because Mo, around 2013, I went to Tanzania. I watched a game between Simba and Azam. Soon after the game, I was surprised because no, it was actually young Africans versus Azam. Soon after the game, because we had two Zimbabweans who were playing for young Africans, Donald Ngoma and uh, Tabani Kamsoko. Soon after the game, I saw more than five supporters who were sporting dreadlocks. And they were wearing jerseys inscribed Kamusoko, 13 at the back. That was not the end. So when we got to the car park, mm -hmm. I saw seven different cars written at the, at the windscreen at the back. Uh, Donald Ngoma, number 11. That's how much the fans loved the players from Zimbabwe. What's stopping our own fans here to do the same? You see probably a car with the same at the back written Manondo, 26. Yeah, I think it's happening, but at a um, low scale. And uh, I would like to agree with uh, uh, Nomen Mapeza when he says uh, uh, the media is not doing much. We, we are trying. Uh, for example, like said, we, we we just came in, we, we have brought the, the game back to the fans or, or to the homes. But then uh, you find the, the, the players that get the hype are mostly players from the bigger teams the, or the so-called bigger teams. And uh, it's very difficult for uh, other media uh, platforms like uh, the newspapers, to actually dwell on the better players in the smaller teams. And it's not happening. And I, I don't know why. When, you, when they write about uh, these smaller teams, it's only they, they're talking about the paltry uh, funds. There were six policemen and five funds that paid. There was, you know, it's, it's always the negative that they write about um, the other. Uh, the, the other smaller teams. But you find, like what happened with Bill Antonio, uh, we really hyped him here on uh, when he scored that one to go. I, I think we repeated it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how many times. Darren uh, was versus uh, Black Rhinos. Because Not because we, lo we, 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 we wanted, but because it was beautiful. And mm -hmm. we loved it. And also the fact that he, he played for Dynamos. If, uh, if, it was, if it was a Dynamos player who had scored that early long ago in, uh, in Baba Fields, I'm telling you that we would have repeated it maybe 50 times. Like we, so it's, it's not balanced the way we, we, we are covering these matches. I, I think we can do better. Mm, so you're talking about what? A mindset shift from the negativity to positivity. Yes. Uh, in Shona, they say, Kufukura apka. Because you're looking at where you're coming from. Exactly. Yeah, uh, there's also another Shona saying, Anzakazara, Sekiram Dende, something like that. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, you need to look at your own thing. So look, we are always talking about Bora Redu. You know, our football, Ibola Letu. Let's identify first with what it is being Zimbabwean. So football wise, what does it mean being Zimbabwean? Support your own.